Hi guys, Ryan here. So today I have a reading log video for you guys and this is going to be me reviewing the first 43 chapters of Bleach, which is Bleach Volumes 1 through 5. So, we have the 20th anniversary edition here of Volume 1. thought I'd pick it up for this, for this series of reading logs. And yeah, we have Ichigo, the protagonist, Rukia Kuchiki, and then Ichigo's younger sister Yuzu, says Bleach 20th Anniversary, and Strain Art is done by Taite Kubo. There is the side, there is the back, and it looks really cool with the red and white, I have to say. And the Biz Media logo is usually red, so it's red there too, so that's nice. So is the Shonen Jump. And this is rated teen for teens. All right, so. I'm going to be reviewing Bleach Volumes 1 through 5. So, in this volume, um, Ichigo and his family get attacked by a hollow, and Rukia tries to protect his family and stop the hollow, but she gets injured in battle, and then she lends her powers to Ichigo because there's nothing else to do. They're all going to die if Ichigo doesn't take her powers and defeats the hollow. So he does take her powers, but he takes her powers completely and he has this giant Zanpakuto sword and he cuts down the hollow in two. So yeah, um, it's interesting though, like before that happened, um, Rukia is like, you can see me Ichigo, but how? And then um, she explains the whole Soul Society thing to Ichigo with the hollows, the Soul Reapers, the Soul Society kind of spirit realm. And um, Ichigo is just like, that's, there's no way, I don't believe in that. And then Rukia is just like, but you believe in ghosts, you can see ghosts. So then uh, Rukia gets mad at Ichigo and uses this thing to like, make it so that he stays there and that he's pinned down with Rukia's Soul Reaper powers. But then Ichigo breaks the barrier and then he tries to go rescue his family. But then Rukia tries to protect him. She gets injured and then that's what happens when she lends her powers to Ichigo. So the day after that, Ichigo and his family wakes up and they don't remember anything from it. They think somebody crashed into their house, which is also a medical bay, a tiny one that is. And um, so yeah, and then Rukia shows up at school. Ichigo is like, you're here, what? And then she explains basically that she doesn't have Soul Reaper powers anymore and that she needs Ichigo to fight Hollows with her. She can track them, Ichigo can take them down. It's a deal. But Ichigo doesn't want to just, you know, risk his life for anybody just to fight some Hollows. So yeah, but then Ichigo does take down the Hollow and saves the Spirit Boy. And um, they perform a Konso, which is basically where they send the uh, spirit to the soul society where they can live in peace and not become a hollow or be eaten by a hollow. So yeah, Bleach is awesome. This is a great start to this series. I'm reading it fully through for the first time and it's been a blast. There's a really cool like silhouette of uh, Ichigo taking down the the hollow. Let's see if I can find it. But, um, yeah, that was really neat. The art style is awesome. The world of Bleach is very dangerous. All right, so yeah, and then in the second half of this volume, um, we find Orihime, who's being tracked by a hollow, which is actually her older dead brother. So that's really interesting. And luckily, um, the hollow and uh, Orihime, you know, they talk. And um, the hollow gets destroyed though, but I think he goes to the Soul Society, I believe. And um, because of his intentions and whatnot, um, he just really missed Orihime and thought since she stopped praying for him that she didn't care about him anymore. But that's not true. Um, she really does. And she wears her hairpin every day that her older brother gave her. And so yeah, so later on, um, I think it's in volume 
yeah, five, I just read five. We see more of that, but I'll get to that when we get there. So yeah, that is Bleach Volume 1. That is my summary. And as a review for Bleach Volume 1, I have to say it's a great start. It's really interesting. It shows, like, you know, the, the protagonist, the dangerous world of Bleach, and it has fantastic artwork. All done by one person, both the story and art, which is amazing. Also, I wanted to show, so this is what the regular edition of Volume 1 looks like, and this is the 20th anniversary. So I have both, because I bought the manga box sets, and then I got the 20th anniversary edition after that. Alright, so in this volume, we get a mod soul that Rukia buys from Kisuke, or Hat and Clogs. And um, it kind of goes defective, and then it runs off, and Ichigo has to chase it down, him and Rukia. And the mod soul is causing trouble, and um, and then at the end of that, the mod soul actually tries to help save some boys, and then uh, Ichigo's there and he saves the day. And then Kisuke shows up, and um, he's gonna like destroy the mod soul, but then Rukia is like, "No, it's my property. You sold it to me." And then that's where we get the mascot cone from. So, so basically. Cone inhabits Ichigo's body and walks around and pretends like he's him while Ichigo fights as a Soul Reaper. So yeah, um, that is volume two. So yeah, with Rukia and then Rukia Kuchiki, that is. And then we have Ichigo and all his friends at school, including Rukia, who's there. All right, so here's volume three. So in this volume, um, so basically Ichigo takes a day off and he's like, Rukia, can I take a day off from fighting Hollows? And she's like, no way. So this is basically the, uh, the date where his mother died. So his family goes to the grave and Rukia shows up and she, uh, talks to Ichigo and she thinks that the Hollow, um, was after Ichigo as a boy and the Hollow killed his mother. And that makes Ichigo real mad. And um, so, yeah. So that happens. Um, and then a hollow actually shows up that can, like, uh, learn from your past. And it makes itself look like Ichigo's mother, his passed away mother. And um, so, yeah. That's kind of messing with Ichigo and his emotions. And he, like, nearly dies. But then uh, he's able to, you know, defeat the Hollow. He doesn't kill it completely, but he does defeat it. That is Volume Three. It was very emotional. Had action, and um, yeah. And then we have the gang all on the couch. All right, so we have Volume Four with Don Kanonji, who can see spirits and has his own TV show where he fights them and stuff, and does spiritual stuff. And he goes to Kurakura Town, where Ichigo and all his friends are, and Ichigo goes, even though he doesn't really want to, but everybody he knows, including his family and everybody, wants to go because it's a massively popular TV show. And yeah, so basically Ichigo um, sees the spirit that Duncan Onji is messing with, and um, he tries to stop him, but then the security tackles him. Rukia tries to help, but then she gets grabbed by the security as well. And then Kisuke, or Hat and Clog, shows up. And then, basically, he uh, gets to be a Soul Reaper. And he grabs Don Kanonji and brings him into the hospital. And he's just like... Um, he tries to take down the Hollow that... Duncan Lynch, basically created, even though he thought he was like, you know, doing good work with the spirit that was chained to the hospital that was like yelling and stuff. But he actually made it turn into a hollow and made things even worse. But, um, yeah, so Ichigo is just like, my sword's stuck in the ceiling. And because it's his zombie toe is so large. 
And, um, and then Don Kanunji helps him, he defends him, and then the hollow goes up to the roof, and then Ichigo's just like, we can't have the fight be out there with all the people watching. Somebody could get hurt, or multiple people. So, yeah, and um, so that happens. They go to the roof, they defeat the hollow, mainly Ichigo, and um, Don Kanonji's just like, I respect you, you're my number one disciple. And Ichigo's just like, what? I'm below you? In terms of like rank? So, yeah, so that happens. So yeah, that happens and then um, hollows are appearing and stuff and then disappearing. Ichigo and Rukia go check it out and they run into Uru, who is just like, I hate Soul Reapers, you're my enemy. I'm a Quincy. So yeah, that happens, and that's the end of that volume. With Uru on the front, and then we have the 20th anniversary kind of artwork right there. Alright, and then we got the latest volume which I read today, which is volume 5, with Chad on the front cover. And in this volume, we see Chad's powers come through, and also Orihime's powers. So, yeah. Um, basically, Uru and Ichigo are having a competition to see who can defeat the most hollows in 24 hours. And, yeah, so that happens. And um, Ichigo doesn't want to do it at first. He's like, no way. And then um, Uru is just like, you know, he eggs them on, basically. And then they start, and then... Uru has like hollow bait and he makes a bunch of hollows appear in Kurakura Town and and then Ichigo is just like what are you crazy? But there's nothing he can do about it, so he has to fight hollows and be in this competition with Uru. And then hollows show up near Karin, Ichigo's younger sister, and Chad. And at first Chad can't see the hollow, so he has to use Karin's eyesight to fight the hollow. And then basically Something happens, and then Chad's powers come through, and he has like this really strong arm, and with like armor and stuff, with like armor and stuff, and and then he defeats the Hollow, and then he falls over, and then Karine is just like, "Are you all right?" And then she goes and gets her dad to help Chad, and then after that, Orihime and her friends. Her um, and Totsuki are there at the school, and windows break, they, and then Orihime hears a yell. She sees a hollow. She tries to get her friends and her to run away, but she's unable to do so. And then the hollow starts controlling people, including Totsuki and the other girl, and they're like all trying to like basically take out Orihime for good and um, that happens and then um, but yeah but then Orihime's hairpin powers come through where she can like not only shield heal and cut hollows in two so it's pretty awesome so yeah that is my summary of volumes one through five um, so, for the review part, um, so basically, yeah, it's a great start to Bleach, the art is there, the story's there, um, all these different characters that we're learning about and it's fleshing out the world, and the characters themselves, and their powers and stuff, and it's kind of like building, building to the main arc, the main first arc in, uh, in Bleach. So, yeah, a lot of good stuff. Um, it's like emotional, action-packed, it has comedy, and great art, and it's just awesome to read from page to page. So yeah, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed watching my, uh, my very first weekly reading log. So yeah, this should be fun. I hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like if you did, subscribe if you're new, and until next time, peace out.